Hello again guys, welcome to the next episode. This time we are going for training number 6. Let's take a look, shall we? Going for orbit. Building off the prior flight tutorials, Gene Gurman teaches you how to uh, achieve orbit with the vessel you built in the advanced construction tutorial. It's a big step. Today we will tackle an absolutely essential skill for any space program, getting to orbit. Without this skill, we might as well be teaching you Kerbal Flight Simulator. I trust uh, uh, you've already checked the other flight tutorials as well as the advanced construction one uh, to be familiar with the Kerbal 1 vessel we will be launching today. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then, let's do it. As I said before, the plan here is to get our vessel and the pilot safely into orbit. As with the suborbital flight we did previously, we will follow a curved path to get to the point where we can circleize our orbit. Today's gravity turn, however, will be much shallower than the path we followed previously so that we build speed towards orbit. This is different from how the Kerbal pilot of old did it. They would head straight up and then hang a, a, a right as if the air was stooped or something. We'll be turning early and smoothly, but don't turn too far or you might be mistaken for one of those low flying turns. As with the previous flight, I will place a target marker on the nav ball to show you the optimal velocity vector, but do note that this indicator won't be able, uh, won't be around normally and is not usually used the way this tutorial uses it. it um, I'll also display some technical information about the path as you go to help you learn the way, the right way to get there. For now, set your throttle to the max, press Z and prepare to launch. Press the Z is the max throttle, but we can also increase our throttle with left shift. Yeah, okay. To the max and this is the ultimate. Mm -hmm. You should now see the marker on the nav ball, so you'll have something to follow. And this ship has been designed so that you don't need to worry about throttle control during the descent. Hit space when you are ready to go for orbit. If you want Valentine, the Kerbal pilot, Valentine, okay, to fly the curve for you, then you can enable SAS and set the mode to target after liftoff. So SAS on. And target, target. So we, li okay, so lift off. Ready for lift off? Three, two, one, ignition. And this one on. Don't worry about your throttle. Uh, you just need to pay attention to uh, time to start pitching down. He's already doing this himself. Okay. Just need to pay attention to the target mark at the proper time to stay. I'll draw you along the way. So when the fuel is this one, I don't know, maybe this one. When they are empty, it will this this one will stay. Something went wrong, damn. <laughs> I'll fit it, okay. Well, we tried. <laughs> Bad luck. Better next time, guys. Attempt number three. <laughs> okay, let's hit space in three, two, one, ignition. And set the target. Target will go, and we will be hitting space when it's empty. Mm -hmm. Nothing sooner. Just wait. Just wait. Yeah. 
not yet. Now, wait. Whoa. Okay. They're doing great falling into the <laughs> We were doing great before, you know. <laughs> Can lower, yeah, uh, lower K, okay. But this one is empty. And decouple and then start this engine, I think. I hope. I hope I'm right. Wait. Wait. And it stays again. Excellent, you survived through the first phase of the launch and now we have a longer, more gentle burn to accelerate... Oh, uh, M, 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 what's M? Oh, okay. Uh, there's the map, okay. If you switch to the map mode, press M, you can show a little trajectory of the rocket and watch the apophysis uh, uh, rise as we gain speed. Yeah. Yeah. So this will circleize now, eventually. I think. I hope. Um, great. Now, oh, escape. This too much. Great. Now you can keep an eye on that trajectory while we track our future path. If you hover over the above this AP node on the map, you will be able to see the estimated height highest altitude on our future path you can right click on that marker to print it so that it remains visible even when you move your mouse away hmm? we need to keep burning along that path until we will clear the atmosphere by a handy margin we'll aim for 80 kilometers cut the engine press x once the above hits 80k i'll cut it uh, how do you cut? Cut the in press X. Okay. So, we, okay. Right click the future path. Right click at the AP and then at 80. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'll cut it uh, for you once it passes 81 kilometers. Meanwhile, I'll keep an altitude display open so you can track your progress ascending and an emphasis display to track your progress reaching 80 kilometers AP. Uh, resume flight. Right click it. No. What? Uh, help. Not seeing it. Right click. Left clicking. Add maneuver. I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, M. And what? What was X? That's uh, 80 kilometers. So we're still a long way off. So we got a lot of fuel. Okay. Um, this one is going all the way around. Nice. Ah, 80 meters. Okay, okay, okay. Um, X. X, X, X. That's going to get us. There, wait, 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 okay. Uh, and that's going to get us there. I've made sure the engine is shut off now and will cost a coast till we clear the atmosphere at 70 kilometers altitude. Uh, you may notice your speed dropping a little as we coast. That's nothing to be concerned about, it's just gravity trying to bring us down and air trying to prevent our success. We'll beat it though. You're looking good. Meanwhile, I'll keep an altitude display open so you can track your progress ascending to your above. Okay. Uh, 81 kilometers. Ah, above 81. An altitude of 56,000. Okay. Oh, not. Yeah, resume. Um, we'll keep this one going. Speed is slowly going down. Okay. 
still got a lot of fuel. Now we wait, I guess. Whew. Whoa, what's this one? The Mun. <laughs> okay, the Mun. Well, Bourbon, the Mun. Mentimus. Wow. Okay, that's far. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Whew. Now that we are clear of the atmosphere, we can warp ahead through time to get to the uh, above just more quickly. Important rocket science like us do not have time to waste. Press next. When you are ready and will warp till it's time to make our next burn. Uh, next? Oh, he's warping it himself. Okay. We're almost there. Now we all. Now all we need to do is accelerate some more so that we fall fall past Turban. That's basically what an orbit is: falling and missing. Gravity will be pulling us towards the center of Kerbin, but we'll be traveling so fast that we are constantly... Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, rotate your craft to align it with the prograde marker. We'll learn more about that later. Or use SAS maneuver mode. When it's time to throttle up, I'll tell you. Maneuver mode. What's maneuver mode? Hey. Down the right. Uh, do I do it like that or like? I'll cut your engines when you complete the burn. I've calculated for you, or you can uh, yourself once you're in a stable orbit. Okay. Uh, burn time six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay. Congratulations! You're now officially in orbit. That is quite the achievement. Cool. Oh, uh, not like that. So we've got a perfect circle around the planet. Cool. Uh, hopefully you can see the difference between the suburbial uh, hop and this reaching orbit ascent, and just how far and early we turn. Also notice how we designed our rocket to accelerate reasonably through the ascent, and did go straight to ludicrously, uh, ridicul ludicrous speed over a. Uh, Powering the ship is a common rookie mistake. Hmm? Uh, that, as far as I will be taking you today, we can catch up again in the Orbit 101 tutorial, where I will show you about orbits and adjusting them. If you want to fly solo for a bit, you can also try bringing Valentine home from this tutorial flight. You will need to turn around. 180 degrees and burn retrograde until your paralysis is less than 20 kilometers at which height the atmosphere will be will do most of the break for you stays any uh, stays the way the, the upper stays uh, when you hit the atmosphere's edge orient retrograde and re-enter like I taught you in the flight basic tutorial or simply choose end scenario for from pause the pause menu and I'll see you later. I think uh, I'm 
quite satisfied with this uh, orbit. Uh, thank you guys. This was it for today. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.